Today we're in the bathroom. <laughs> together. together. <laughs> and we're in the bathroom together today because Leslie's making me do scary things again. Yeah. Another RV modification, which I was unwilling to do. <laughs> but you were unwilling to do option A. And option A was paying a bunch of money to have somebody else do it. <laughs> so I'm definitely not doing that. Yeah. We are going to attempt today yeah. to paint our bathroom countertop a different color. Yes. Because the RV countertop specs don't match residential specs. You can't just go buy one at Home Depot or Lowe's and put it in. It doesn't fit. fit. Yeah. So you could take so. one of those and get it modified or you could have one custom built which is a lot more money. A very expensive. So we're going to paint this and this is the this is the epoxy poured countertop that yeah. Alliance puts in all of their RVs. And it's just this green color that really doesn't match anything. No, I don't, I don't know why they picked that color to begin with, but it didn't necessarily bother me. It wasn't a, I'm not taking that rig because of that countertop. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty countertop. It just really, yeah. for the colors that we want to use, it doesn't really go. Exactly. Which is red. And because we're not switching rigs, I wanted to switch some things in this rig yeah. to feel like I got a new rig. It took some research to figure out what type of paint would work with the epoxy mm -hmm. board um, and you can sand it down a little bit. But we did find this one paint that we're going to try to use. Yeah. It said it adheres to any surface. And no sanding required. We will let you know. <laughs> we're going to be the test guinea pigs for you if you want to do a project like this. So we'll let you know if it works out. If not, we We're probably gonna, will be forking out the money. We will be buying a new countertop. <laughs> Step one is we have to remove all this silicone sealant around here because obviously the paint is not going to adhere to that. So we have to remove that. Then we will tape everything off so that we don't get paint all over the walls or the sink. And then we will get to painting. Before we go any further, I'm going to cut off these valves down here. And luckily Alliance RV has uh, put these stop valves in each one of the sinks and behind the toilet so that if you're working down here you don't have to cut off the water supply to your whole RV to do that so there's the cutoff valves there I'm gonna cut those off that way we don't accidentally bump the water open or me I'll just forget and I'll turn the water on and try to wash my hands in the middle of the project so yeah <laughs> well I got started on removing the, the silicone and the backsplash is, is in the way. In the way. It's coming off anyway. Yes, we so got a new backsplash. Leslie's going to go ahead and do that, take yes. that off first. And uh, yeah, I forgot to mention in the first part that we we do have a new backsplash and yes. it's going to look way different. Yes. I hope it looks as good as it is in my head. You're going to say, she sounds really excited. Like this is going to be <laughs> perfect. Because I could see it and it's beautiful. I can see it too if we do it right. right. <laughs> It's a little more labor intensive than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to get all of that out without like gouging the walls. I'm not worried too much about scraping the countertop because we're going to paint over that anyway, but I don't want to gouge into these walls and the walls are really, really thin. Um, it's hard to get, it's hard to get back in there and get it out. It's just sticky. <laughs> sticky situation. It's a sticky situation. All right, we got all the caulking off which was a huge pain in the ass. It was way more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. It's just cause it, like when you're scraping it, like scrapes up those little balls of caulking and it gets all over the place and then you gotta clean it all up and you gotta make sure it's all off there. Anyway, got it all done. Leslie did the hard part, cleaning it up after I made the mess. And now it's time to tape everything off before we start painting. <laughs> so we got everything taped off here. We got the plastic in front of the cabinets so we don't drip. We have ladder marks, yeah. plastic inside of the sink mm -hmm. and we rigged up the faucet. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we redneck rigged it because it wasn't until we started taping everything off, we're like, um, yeah, shouldn't we remove the faucet? <laughs> yeah, we could have taped it off, but it, it wouldn't have been as clean. And I didn't want to remove the whole faucet. I want to disconnect it and all yeah, that stuff. That's a pain in the butt. So we just, we rednecked so it. I, the, my inner redneck said, let's yeah. bungee cord it. <laughs> we bungee cord it to the mirror, so it just, just kind of levitates there so we can paint we underneath can paint it. Around. And yeah. Once it's all dry, we'll set her back down. And yeah. Screw her back tight and we'll be good to go. Your redneckness has rubbed off on me. You're welcome. <laughs> Now, if my money-saving tips can rub off on you, we'll be in good shape. That would never happen. 
we're going to be using this stuff called Beyond Paint, and it's supposed to stick to everything. Everything. Quick, easy, durable, and it says it will work on wood, linoleum, glass, laminate, plastic, any surface pretty much. So we have to put this on. Mm -hmm. What rollers are we using? We're using a four inch roller with three eighth nap of high density. Okay. And then we'll probably use like a little brush for the little crevice areas. Little We're going to let this stand for two to four hours before we can put a second coat on there. Mm -hmm. And it has to dry for 24 hours yes. before you can actually start using it, I guess. Uh, well, then we'll put the triple thick polyurethane on for yeah. that nice shiny gloss. Yeah, and then it said it could take up to seven days to, to fully, fully cure. So We'll be gentle yeah. on it for a week. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm not that nervous because if it's jagged up, we're just going to go buy one. So, I mean, why? You're not nervous about spending several hundred dollars <laughs> if this doesn't work? Shall I? No big deal. We'll just throw like five, six hundred bucks at it. <laughs> I got no comfort. <laughs> She's not concerned about I was about okay money. with just buying one right out of the gate. You, if it, you weren't, that's when I found this. So. Well, somebody in this relationship has to be concerned about <laughs> money. It's not me. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. The last one made you nervous too, but this one's really making this makes it permanent. Well, and it's um, it's triple thick, so we're only it says you only have to put one coat of this, so yeah. hopefully that's true too. Yeah, moment of truth. Drip marks and, and self leveling, so it should turn out okay. Yeah, it should flatten back down. <laughs> should. Once it dries. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ooh. Glossy. <laughs> it goes on with this little kind of a whitish film, but that's supposed to clear out and it's supposed to self-level because you'll see there's a little bit of a texture because of the foam roller but it should flatten out and it should shine up and all that whiteness Good. should come out of there all right we're rolling yes moving right along we uh, had a little bit of a setback minor setback put us back a day yeah i didn't like the semi-gloss clear coat no a little too shiny for me yeah so we had to go to a matte. So use the same brand of, of polyurethane, just the matte finish instead yeah, of the semi-gloss. So semi we had to re-roll the black yeah. and then put the matte. With the mirrors done. Um, and then last night after everything was dried, we did the caulking, caulking. around the sink and around the edges. Yep. And so now, backsplash. Backsplash time. Yeah. So I'm not going to show you what it's going to look like just yet. I want it to be, I want the reveal to be a, a good surprise. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, so right after Leslie gets done, we'll come back in here and show you the finished product. Okay. Project complete. Thank God. Yeah, it was a little tricky there for you getting the backsplash on, huh? It was. For a little while there, it looked like, I mean, this bathroom was destroyed. It had remnants yeah. of backsplash and, and stuff everywhere. Paper and everywhere. Paper and scissors and it looked yeah. like a, and then I'm in there editing uh, a video, and in here I can just hear the backsplash getting stuck on and ripped off and stuck on and ripped off and stuck on and ripped off. Well, I You're a little frustrated there for a little bit. It's frustrating because, and it's like in, in, in regular houses too. Yeah. Walls are not perfectly sh exactly, straight. Exactly, yeah. So as I'm going, the gap at the top bigger, was getting bigger. bigger and bigger. <laughs> and so I was trying to reposition and make it not so noticeable. Yeah. I had to get creative with some little pieces to cut to fill gaps yeah. but That's overall all. i mean i'm so happy i am too it looks like a whole it's different so bathroom different. yeah it just I mean, makes it feel di better coming in here i didn't know how i would feel about the backsplash over the whole wall but i think it looks really good which is what i wanted to do the first time with the yeah. last backsplash and you were like no 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 yeah but it looks really good it, it come together and yeah man yeah the it, first best option was to get a new countertop, <laughs> but this is the next best thing and the way cheaper thing. Yes. So that Just helps. A fraction of the cost. Yeah. yeah. But I'm very happy with the result. So you can <laughs> paint your countertop. You can. And you can give a whole new look to your bathroom. Yeah. It's just a little bit of work. Yeah. So you have to sacrifice using the bathroom for a while. Yeah. So yes. all the stuff that we use, mm -hmm. we'll leave a link in the description. So all the, the Beyond Paint, the polyurethane, all the tools that we use, the backsplashes, Backslash. all that stuff we'll leave in the uh, description of the video so that you can go over to Amazon and get that stuff. If you want to do a remodel, they have different types of backsplashes and oh, colors yeah. and all that stuff. So lots to choose from. Uh, the Beyond Paint, I think, has a couple different paint color options. So They do have a couple shades. You don't have to go with what we did. No, but. I think they had black, white, tan, um, yeah, there's a few. gray, like some other stuff. But just pop over to, to Amazon and, and see what all mm -hmm. they got. It's it's possible. If we can do it, <laughs> you can do oh, it. Oh, absolutely. But leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. And uh, stick around for a few seconds because mm -hmm. we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is also down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.